so we're going to first be working on shape and form. So for the top, it's going to be shape. So I want you to label shape. Sorry, all in capital letters. Shape like this, and then the bottom form. All right, now. The tools you're going to be needing are a pencil, a ruler, and something round so that you can trace a circle. So you can use a glass, um, probably that's the only thing, but if you have anything else like a container like this, you can use it. It needs to be a little bit, it needs to be quite small, so that way you can still do shading and things like that. So nothing huge, and it needs to fit on the page like this. All right. So this is what's, this is the page that you're going to be starting with. This is what it needs to look like at the end. It needs to look like this. So as you can see, here's the shape. The shape is very flat. And then form. Form we use lines to create shadows and it gives it dimension. So we have some shadow, shadowing here, here on the sides, um, things like that. So that's what it needs to look like. Now. We're going to start with our squares. I use about seven centimeters. So you go on the side that's smaller grid, not this side, that's inches. You go on this side with the smaller grid. I use about seven and I just simply just draw a square. Lonnie, could you, Miss Lonnie, could you please come over here so that you can just pause it for like these simple things? Well, I'm going to just show them how to draw this square, but like that. Try to be quite precise and make sure that your um, ruler is straight as well. So, it's just there. So, I, do, I used all of that doing the seven cent, um, centimeters and just did it on both sides because squares have equal... Uh, lengths of size. All right, and now we're going to do a triangle. So for a triangle, I use about eight centimeters all the way to the top. And you know, sometimes you're going to just have to like mess around with it for it to look nice, and that's all right too. Just do that. And then I connect it at the bottom. All right, there's our triangle. And then I'm going to use this, put it right there. I'm going to draw a circle. There's our circle. So we have our three basic shapes at the top. Now we're going to work on our form. So go ahead and just do the exact same thing that you did on the top and do it on the bottom. Okay, so as you can see, I've drawn at the top. Oh wait, I messed up, press, press plus. Okay, so as you can see, I've drawn the exact same things at the top and at the bottom, but there is something a little different. Now let's look back at our other one. And students, if you need to pause right here, just pause it to be able to refer back to it when you're creating your own. But as you can see, the triangle, it has a curve at the bottom. So I need to create a curve on my triangle in order to give it form and give it dimension. And then, if you can see for the square, the square has lines right going at the end, see? To make it look three-dimensional. So I'm gonna have to create these lines to make it like that. All right, so I'm gonna erase this bottom line for the triangle. I'm gonna give it a curved line. like that. Just curve it. There we go. And if you get anything, make sure that it's crisp. Try to make it as tidy as possible. If you get anything out of line, something like that. Make sure you clean it up. All right, so there we go. We have a curve to our triangle. And now I'm going to take my ruler. And I'm going to put some angled lines on the square. Not very big. If you go on to your inch thing, it's going to probably be about half an inch long. So I'm going to put it right there. That was
also need to make a center warp, so I'll have to redo it. And then right here, so let me recenter, redo this one because it was not centered to the corner. You want it to be connecting to the corner, that will give it more realistic um, look. Um, right there. There we are. And then also, we're going to do one right here. I'm going to do it on an angle as well. Like that. Alrighty. So then we're going to connect these boxes. Maybe I didn't do this one right. Did I not do this one right? Hold on. Let's refer back. So it's at like that type of angle. You just kind of have to work with it. Okay, so like this. Yeah. So we're doing it at this type of angle. So sometimes you're just gonna have to work with it and just make it fit to the other box. So now I'm gonna line up my uh, my ruler and I'm gonna whoop, draw a line. I'm gonna erase leftover lines. Good. And then I'm gonna draw a line right here as well. Make sure that it's even, that my ruler is straight. There we go, there we go. Alrighty then, now we're going to give shading. So we're gonna add some definition. So, for this one, we're just gonna do straight lines around the side. Can they see that well, Lilani? Yes, Lilani, sorry. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just give it straight lines around the side. Now mine's not going to be as amazing as this one was, just because I'm going kind of fast for you guys, so this video is now like 50 million years long. But I think you can get the gist. So I'm just going over the side, and I'm kind of, I'm trying to press as lightly as I can on my pencil to be able to give it some form. And then I'll just go very, 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 very small on this side, also pressing lightly with my pencil. I don't want it too dark. If you do want to add some darkness, I recommend doing it a little bit darker right here towards the sides because that's how shadows fall. Shadows are darker on the side and they're lighter towards the light because the light's coming from this angle, yada, yada. So, now we're gonna draw the actual shadow. So we're gonna do a straight line towards there. And then we're gonna just do some straight, other straight line. And we're gonna make it like that. Kind of, um, kind of circular towards the bottom because this is like a cone shape. So, I'm going straight out into a line like this. Now, I'm going to make it a little bit darker towards the bottom of the shadow because that looks more realistic. There we go. And so that's the first one done. Now, for the square, we're going to be doing a little bit of a different. Take your time on this, children, because we want it to look nice. We don't want it to look very sloppy. All right? Um, we're going to be doing thatched shadowing. So thatched Thatch shadowing, sorry, that's a tongue twister. It's just straight lines down like this. See, look, I did darker lines towards the bottom, lighter lines towards the top. You can do some darker lines at the edge if you want to, that's gonna be more realistic. So just do some lines. And then you take your pencil and you do lines the opposite direction. You can do some plus signs, like that. Does that look good, Lonnie? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, at the top, it's gonna, be le it's gonna be less than this. This is gonna be a much darker. I'm gonna do some more lines right here. It needs to be darker. Um, it's gonna be less darker because the light's coming at it from this angle, at least from what I'm drawing it from. So I'm gonna do lines coming like this. Sure you get those edges clean. 
And then I'm gonna be doing some more. I'm gonna try to do some right here, some right here, some right here. Maybe do another plus sign right there. You know, give it a little bit of, do a little something, something. There we go. So that's good enough for me. Does that look good, Leilani? Miss Leilani? Now we're gonna add just a little bit right here. We're gonna do some thatch work right here. Just a little bit because again, the light's coming from this angle, so it's only gonna have a little bit of shadow right here. Do some plus signs, you know. Maybe add some other lines like that. Very, make some lines. Yeah, here, you can see right here. Make some lines right here. Make some lines coming from the side. And then for the actual shadow part, that looks good enough to me, I'm gonna do a little bit right here. Then for the actual shadow part, we're gonna draw a straight line. We're gonna draw a straight line like this. And then we're going to Go at an angle, just making it even as possible for that. Can they see with my head there? Mm -hmm. Even as possible for that um, shadow look. I don't know. So we're doing that. We're making it at an angle. You see, because the squares, it's not going to be just a square like this. You could, but it looks better like this, I guess, because that looks more realistic. You're going to take your pencil. You're going to color at the edge again, just like we did for the triangle, and make it darker. Try to kind of blend it out again, like that. And so there we have it. We have the shadow. All right, and now we're gonna move on to the circle. So for the circle, we're gonna be using curved lines in order to create dimension and form. So it's going to be darker at the bottom. And we're just going to go move it upwards. It's going to be lighter at the top. Make sure to press lightly at the top and then press hard at the bottom. You can do a little bit of a, like this right here. That gives it some more dimension. It shows that the ball has a little bit because the shadows are bouncing off. It shows that the ball has a little bit of curvature to it. going to be darker around the edges. Then we're going to do little lines at the side. Lighter at the top, remember guys, keep it light. And then dark. Alrighty. So we got that, we got that. We'll just go a little I'm doing a little bit of a gradient right here. I'm going to do a little bit right here just to show that there's some dimension again. All right, that looks good enough to me. This might be a little too dark, so I'm just going to get my eraser and kind of go over just a little bit. There we go. All right. So now for the shadow, we're gonna do this one curved because it is a ball. So uh, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna start from here underneath towards the middle. We're going to go up like that. On an angle like this. And then we're going to Fill in some lines, and then we're going to do some darkness at the base, just like before. I'm going to go a little bit lighter just to blend it in with the rest. So see how it was blending? I did dark, and then I did a medium tone, and then I did a light tone just to blend it in. Now you can go at the edge at the bottom just to redefine that roundness and just curve the ball a little bit more. But... I don't like that edge, but this is the gist. 
That looks like a shadow right one. This mm -hmm. one. So. Alright. Alright, and so that is how you do forms. So here we have the finished product. That's what it looks like. Here's the, the really nice one. Pause, uh, like I said before, pause if you need to, to look at this one and then copy onto your paper. Just All right. Move your hand, let them have a chance to pause. Okay, then you're good. How long was that video?